So there are four universities in the Netherlands that have an astronomical institute and they work together on a national level under the acronym NOVA as an alliance. And NOVA does a top-notch astronomical research and for that we need access to uh, the best and the latest instrumentation. Currently in Chile, they are building the biggest telescope in the world uh, and NOVA is building instrumentation for that biggest telescope. That means that components that we need to make for that instrumentation are an order of magnitude larger than what we've built so far. For that, we needed new machines to manufacture these large parts. And that's how we ended up with GROW. So the problem we were facing is that we were uh, having to develop bigger instruments that require bigger parts, and for this we need bigger machines. The requirements that we had was that we would still achieve the same tolerance that we uh, achieved previously, so 10 to 20 microns, but now we have to achieve them over a meter distance long. Uh, one of the most important bits is that they can actually measure the temperature of the part on the mach milling machine itself which allows us to scale the toolpaths accordingly. And this is really important to achieve the 10 to 20 microns over a meter distance. In Dwingelo, NOVA has an optical infrared group that uh, manufactures and designs these uh, components for the astronomical instrumentation. For infrared uh, wavelengths doing these observations, we need to cool the instruments to very cold temperatures. One of the challenges we face is that when we cool the instrument to these very cold temperatures, this has to be done homogeneously. So we want to produce single size components, very big ones that shrink homogeneously, and therefore we need a very big machine that is able to produce these machines. Another reason why we're producing very big components is that we want to minimize the number of interfaces so that we reduce the chain of tolerances. Looking for a vendor, we, uh, on the internet, we first started looking at the various types of machines that were available, the sizes they were available in, and if they would sort of match our way of manufacturing, mainly aluminum parts of big sizes and single one-offs. I think very important uh, for us, uh, Grub was very flexible also in the delivery uh, of the machine because we had to create a new facility to put, uh, put in the machine. And uh, we're actually a bit tight for space, so it took some uh, planning to get the machine in there. And Grob was always flexible, very flexible with us along the way to get the machine in place. I can safely say that Grob has met the uh, expectations and that the uh, components that we manufacture now, they are uh, up to spec and sometimes even exceed what, what we thought would be capable of manufacturing. So we're looking at the James Webb Space Telescope, flying in space, observing the sky and anything that's interesting in it. And we have developed MIRI, the mid-infrared instrument for the James Webb Space Telescope. This comes from a solid block of 200 kilograms of aluminum, and now only one and a half kilogram is remaining, all milled by CNC controlled equipment. Tolerances are in the single micrometer range. And this all contains 14 mirrors, 12 gratings, and lots of mechanical components to hold it all together. Strong enough to survive launch. With the Grob milling machine, we're able to produce parts like this with even tighter tolerances on bigger parts so that we're ready for the extremely large telescope and any possible successor of the James Webb Space Telescope. I think if we would have a similar uh, requirements in the future, um, I think we would end up with GROPE again. And the reason being that uh, they provide uh, large machines that are very capable of machining, especially aluminum parts, um, to a very high accuracy. And it's, uh, it's very clear that they design and engineer their machines uh, very much specific to what the customer actually needs. And this is why they definitely would suit us in the future.